This is Andrew from Of Mice and Mycelium, and today is the 12th of November. I'm in front of my hood, and I'm looking at our experiment for uh, cleaning up any culture, any liquid culture that you have. I'm gonna show you the next step into cleaning that up. So right now, I'm working with uh, plates from the 3rd of November, so that's a nine days ago um, they've had plenty of time to grow um, and as you can see there's there's a lot of contamination and that's what we expected right i mean i took the swab i swabbed my mouth then i used the prpd cultures and i streaked them out so one of them i don't even want to open it's it's loaded with what looks like penicillium um, as soon as i open that spore is going to fly all over me i'm not even interested I'm gonna take that one and set it aside, and we're gonna focus on uh, the one of one of these plates that I foresee as having the most uh, potential, the most uh, promising plate. Now we're transferring these uh, a single colony. Uh, we're, we're trying to isolate that single colony, and we're gonna move it onto these hideous-looking plates. Um, they're ugly. They're chunky. They were poured last when the auger was starting to cool but I, again it doesn't matter to me i'm not i'm not looking for anything pretty this is just um, trying to isolate so let's get it rolling here as well um, trying new camera setups hopefully this is going to minimize uh, unwanted contamination so here we go this is the plate this is the plate I'm setting this one aside. I don't want to open that one. It's horrendous. Giant penicillium molds. That's the stuff you find on oranges. And, and the uh, antimicrobial. That's how we get uh, penicillin. Okay, here we go. I'm uncapping. And as you can see here, There is a lot of growth. Uh, this seems to be, this here seems to be maybe like a yeast. Um, and I'm sure there's a ton of contamination in here from my mouth, uh, but it's not really showing up. So the most prevalent is what we, know as uh, Piopini, uh, but the target I'm going to be going after is right in here. So I'll, I'll use my uh, right in here. Most likely I'm going to be taking that one there because it's isolated and it's on its own and you can tell that it as we struck this up that single mycelium was pushed over to the side there. I'm gonna get my fire. All right, so we have a sterile loop. Again. Okay, so I just stabbed that plate there. I'm going to label and date it. So, PD isolate 1113. I'm actually surprised 
um, how little diversity that we saw in these plates. Just for example, I would have expected there to be a significant amount of bacteria, yeast. Now we do see something, I can't tell if it's bacteria or if it's yeast. Uh, I would love to look at it underneath a thousand uh, oil immersion microscope, maybe even do a gram stain on it if it's bacteria to find out. It's a curious, but I don't have a thousand oil immersion microscope. So and in this case, it doesn't really matter. We, we don't care what the contaminants are. We just want our ice. We want to clean it up and carry it on. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one more time on a Mount Rushmore plate. And that giant mountain on the auger dish isn't necessary. It uh, doesn't sort of give us any benefit whatsoever. and I'm gonna reach for a different isolate now. I'm actually, I'm gonna go with that same isolate, but I'm gonna pick along the edges of it. Same thing, I'm gonna sterilize my loop. And that's it. I don't, I'm going to throw this away um, because I know I don't need it. I already have a clean culture, so I'm not in risk of losing anything here. Um, so I'm throwing this away. If this was your only plate, I wouldn't throw it away. Keep it just in case something happens with these. Uh, there's not real isolation, whatever the reason. Uh, I'm throwing that away. Didn't work. Come from the back. There we go. Uh, I'm going to label this one and Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Andrew with Of Mice and Mycelium. Um, make sure if you haven't checked out the first one for context, um, check it out. It's, it'll be in the previous box somewhere around this area or here, I'm not, here, somewhere here or here. I'm not really sure. Again, thank you so much.